Saturday, August 30th, it's going to be a great day for a run. I don't need to look at the weather forecast and know <laughs> it's going to be a good day for a run. August 30th, that's the date of a brand new 5K called Celebrate the Commitment. From Creighton's non-traditional student union, Steve Beauchene, Elizabeth Hansen joins us from Big Brothers, Big Sisters of the Midlands. Good Welcome to see back. Good, good to see you, Good Steve. Thank Steve, you. Steve's kind of the mastermind behind all this, right? <laughs> so why did you decide to well. help and put this together? <laughs> I'm uh, not quite the mastermind. <laughs> he makes um, him sound like Dr. Evil. <laughs> right. Run. I joined the student union uh, shortly after school was out, and a uh, great group of people were working with, and they had already decided we're doing a 5K this fall, and I kind of decided that I would be the marketing coordinator. Yeah. <laughs> so here I am, yeah, and we're mm -hmm. getting our word out, and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we need some runners to come down and, and do all that good stuff. But, uh, yeah, we uh, Jacob, our president, is partnering with uh, big brothers and big sisters, he's actually a big brother. Yeah. So that's kind of what brought us together there. We decided mm -hmm. to yeah. allocate the money yeah. to and support then, the organization. Yeah. Right, yeah, so a bunch of the funds go there. We're gonna use funds to also support other organizations and groups and also the non-traditional students mm -hmm. in Creighton. That's great. Yeah, that's great. Okay, Elizabeth, so they're yes. gonna raise some money, hopefully a lot of money for you guys. Yeah. What are you guys so. gonna do with the money? We are going to continue our recruitment campaign. We are working on a fall recruitment campaign, so we are always in need of bigs to uh, be mentors in our program. We also um, do training for those bigs, and we have match sports specialists that follow the match, watch the match is created so that they're calling and making sure everything is safe. If anybody has questions so you know basically matching more kids we have about a hundred kids right now on our waiting list waiting wow. for a big in their life wow. so why is it important for kids to have mentors what do you know about the difference that can make in their lives we see a huge um, great return as far as the time spent with the child uh, they stay in school they you know stay away from risky behaviors but basically it's a friendship it's somebody for that child to connect with oftentimes these kids are facing adverse conditions below the poverty line uh, chaos in the home sometimes so with that mentor it's basically like someone Someone who can be there, support them through different things in their lives, and just have a friendship. And, and it's just not be somebody there. they're related to. That's something else that's important, right? That it's not a family. It member. is not a family member. It, they, these are community members uh, that come to us that are interested in making a difference in their community that want to volunteer their time. So uh, there are all sorts of people. We don't have necessarily a sweet spot. We have people that are retired couples uh, that can be a big couple, married couple that can take a child off the waiting list. Sometimes they're young, uh, working people. So it's really all sorts of people in the community can can volunteer their time. Yeah. Yeah, and in some cases they build these lifelong friendships. They do. And, and mm -hmm. we have a couple friends, a big and a little, in yes. the Nissan of Omaha yeah. green room. We want to take you a mentioned tour? Jacob. Is, ja is, this, is Jacob in the green room today? He is. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. tell us. Tell us their hey stories. guys, what's up, Jacob? <laughs> and tell us about his little. Hi, guys. Uh, Jacob and his little Dakota have been matched for about a year now. Dakota's 14 and he'll be starting his uh, ninth grade freshman year. Mm -hmm. They love to go fishing together. They go bowling. They're just a great match. And I think that uh, Jacob's a great example of celebrating the commitment, not only to his education, but to Dakota. And, and Jacob is in uh, the reserves. He also is a full-time student, but he's got time for his little well, and he's got that's time. That's a great example. He's got a lot on his plate. He's got a lot on his plate, mm -hmm. but he makes time for his little Dakota. Because a lot of people would say, I just don't have the time. So how much does it take throughout it takes, the month? Uh, we ask um, our volunteers to give two to four times a month mm -hmm. to go out into the community to do things with their little. But part of what I do as the events manager is I plan things twice a month for them to go out and to do that's free of charge. We try to do those things on either weekends or evenings. So we make it easy for them to get out. But sometimes things come up and if they call their little and they just say, hey, I've got something going on, they build that friendship and the little knows that they're still there, even if they can't get together, you know, maybe that week. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, we have a couple of hows. We want to find it. We want to ask you. How do people become mentors? Yeah. And we want to talk about the run. Okay. How do we get signed up for the 5K? We'll go with you I'll first. I'll go first. They can contact our organization, www.bbsomaha.org, and I think we're going to put that up there. Yep. But it's very easy. We have an orientation session. It's about an hour. They can come hear more about the program, uh, the requirements, and then after that, if they find that it's something that works for them, we do some training, and then uh, we match on interests. So we're going to match them up with a little that has common interests. So we make sure that you know they have some things in common before they get together. And and Steve, here's the information about Celebrate the Commitment. If you haven't heard about this event, there's a good reason since this is the first year for it. August 30th, <laughs> 9 a.m. is when it starts. How can our viewers sign up so that they're part of this? Uh, you can either look at the Facebook site. It's mm -hmm. also linked to the uh, Big Brothers and Big Sisters site as well. Mm -hmm. So and register. And you can uh, also come down the day of and yeah. come and run with us. And enjoy it. Thank you so much for being here, Steve. It's nice thank to you. meet you. Yeah. And thank good you. to see you, Elizabeth. Thank you, guys. And nice to see you again. Thank you very much. Room. That's cool. That's right. All right. Mm -hmm. So we know about I